Today, I will go over few registry key edits you can do on your Windows 11 computer to improve user experience. Before making these changes, please make sure to create a system restore point and a registry key backup. Check the video description for the links to tutorials on those topics. On Windows 11, if you go to the start menu and start typing something like let's say Calgary, trying to looking for information files or files within your computer, it will automatically start searching on Bing. Some of us don't like the fact that it goes to the internet and start searching Bing when we are searching our computer through Windows search. You can disable the Bing search from start menu by editing the registry. So the first thing we need to do, access the registry. So on the Windows search, type reg edit and it will show up the app registry editor. You need to make sure you open the registry editor under administrative mode or as, run as an administrator or else you will not be able to edit some of those keys. So open the registry editor and then you need to navigate to the location in which we need to add a key to remove that Bing search. So on here, you need to navigate to this location. So once you are there, find an empty space, right click, select new, and then select key. And on the key, we need to enter Explorer, E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R. -E so it needs to be exactly spelled like that because if there is a spelling error or mistake, this will not work. So we simply went to this location and then add a key called Explorer. And inside this Explorer, next thing we will do is to add a D word, a 32 bit D word. So inside this Explorer, right click on an empty space, click new, select D word 32 bit value, and we're gonna enter disable search box suggestions. It has to be exactly typed this way with a D capital, S capital, etc. Otherwise it will not work. Once the 32 bit key value under Explorer key is entered, double click on it and change this value from zero to one and click okay. So what that has done is basically has disabled the Bing search. Now, if you go back in here and start typing, let's say Calgary, it'll still, it will still show the Bing search because this particular type of registry edit, you need to reboot your computer. So the next thing you need to do after you've done this edit and you have entered this disable search box suggestions uh, D word right here in this particular location, close your registry editor and reboot your computer. After the reboot, if you go back to your Windows search and type, let's say Calgary, you will now notice that the Bing search is no longer there. So we have effectively removed the Microsoft Windows 11 from going to the internet and searching information when you are searching for items within your computer. On your Windows 11 machine, on the bottom right hand corner, the system tray clock in other words, system clock have hours and minutes, but not seconds. If you would like to have the seconds display on your system clock, that can be done through registry editor. Again, we will open our registry editor in administrative mode. And this time you need to navigate to this particular location. And then we will add a D word to include the seconds in the system clock. This particular registry edit doesn't even require you to reboot your machine. So once you navigate to registry editor, this particular location, find an empty space, right click, select new and select 32 bit D word and enter show seconds in system clock exactly like this. So you need to make sure it has S capital, 
uh, and C capital exactly the way it is written like this. So once you have that 32 bit value under this particular location, double click on it, open it and change this value from zero to one. And notice on the bottom right hand corner right here, it's gonna start showing seconds as soon as I change this value to one and click okay. There you go. So now you have seconds showing up on your Microsoft Windows 11 system clock. On Windows 11, if you right click, let's say right here, you will notice the context menu is different from that of, let's say Windows 8, Windows 7, etc. This is the what Microsoft called the new and improved right click menu. If you want to see more items in here, just like our previous menus that we had with the previous windows, what you need to do actually, you had to click first right click and then click show more options and it'll give you this menu. But what if I want to have this exact same context menu without having that extra click that I need to do here with show more options? You can do that by editing the registry again. So this time, what we will do, we will again open our registry editor and navigate to this location that I have navigated. And on an empty space here, under CLSID, uh, right click, and you need to add a key that is a very specific value key. I will leave that key information in the description of this video which will be a link to my website as well. So select right in here, you're gonna navigate in here, right click, select new, select key, and you're gonna enter this long string of value. So in the new key, uh, we're gonna rename, you're gonna enter that. It's very specific bunch of numbers and letters and dashes. So you don't need to know what it is, you just need to make sure you enter that key. So inside that key, what we will do, we will right click while in that key, and then we're gonna go and select the option to add a new key. So we're gonna show new, and we're gonna say a key. So we're gonna enter a key inside a key. And in here, we're gonna put INPROC, a server 32. So it's exactly like that. It needs to be I capital, S capital, and 32. So we're gonna, we created this key first, and then inside that key, we created another key called this one. And in here, what we need to do is just leave it as it is, and notice the data value, however, is set as no value set. We need to change this from no uh, value not set to basically, you know, to set a value. So what to do that, what we're gonna do, we can double click it, open it, but however, we are not gonna enter anything here. We can simply click, click okay. So it changed from no value set to basically no data at all. So again, you do not change the default key here. Instead, you're gonna double click on it put nothing on it, click OK, so that the data column here will show nothing at all, instead of saying no value set. So now you will notice that if you go back, if you close your uh, registry editor, go back in here, right click, nothing changes, right? The reason for that is you still need to reboot your machine for that registry key edit to take into effect. So go back into your start menu, and go ahead and restart. And when you come back, you will have your all right click menu. Once the restart has been completed, if you right click now, you see your all context menu. Now you have access to the all context right click menu. Did you know you can add items here? For example, open in terminal, open with code has been added by Microsoft when we install Microsoft PowerShell and Visual Studio Code. You can add your own software in here so that it is easy for you to access. I use Notepad all the time 
and we can add notepad to this right click context menu. To do that, we will go and open registry editor again. And this time we're gonna navigate to the shell section. And you can already see in here, in this particular registry location, we have CMD, PowerShell and VS code already added. And if I right click, you can see the terminal and open with code added. And these are coming from these two keys. We will add the notepad. So under the shell, find the empty space, right click, select new, select key, and we will name this as notepad. And right now, if I right click here, you will notice the new item shows up on the right click menu. And if I click on it, nothing will happen. If I click on, let's say open in terminal, it will open Windows PowerShell. But if I click on notepad, the one we just entered, nothing happened. That because it needs to have a command which the exact path to the notepad software. So the next thing we need to do inside the notepad key, we will right click in an empty space, select new, select key, and we're gonna enter command. So it's C-O-M-M-A-N-D. So inside the notepad key, we're gonna enter another key called command. Now inside the command, we have a default value that is currently not set. This default value should be the location which the notepad software is located. So if you open File Explorer in this particular software, you can find that under C, Windows, System32, And if I type notepad here, you can see the notepad application shows up here. We need to copy the exact path to this notepad application. You can right click and select copy as path. Now, if you don't see this copy as path option on your right click menu, once you selected and highlighted the notepad software, hold shift, right click, and you will see copy as path option. Once you have copied the path, go to the notepad command key under right here in the registry editor. Open the default string inside this command and paste the location in which the notepad software is located and click OK. So it will change the string value right here to that location. Now, if you go back and right click on this uh, right click menu, open the right click menu and select notepad, it will open your notepad. So now you have notepad added to your right click menu. You can add other software this way as well. You just need to make sure the path to each software is copied and follow the same step and add those items under the shell section of your registry editor. So those are the registry edit that I typically do with my Windows 11 machine. I will put up some more options available on the registry editor on my future tutorials. And until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.